Now tonight, before we go, we do have to do our, our fact checking. This is something that we don't want to send you out with information that perhaps isn't accurate. So if anything was uh, askew or anything forgotten, we have our resident fact checker who will come back to the stage to give us the lowdown. Can we bring him out here? Let's bring him out here. Where is Dan Wefflin? Dan, come on out. Hello, sir. All right, this is the part of the show where we issue corrections to some of the previous jokes. Uh, so Jessie said that uh, she ne when she went to graduate school, she never thought uh, that she'd wear leather pants and four inch heels. And, and that's actually why I went to graduate school. And, uh, and I just spent the whole time looking for bugs in some C++ code. Uh, Emily was uh, uh, talking about uh, polar bears and about how they're uh, useless. Uh, so there were our charismatic megafauna, and I've been trying to become a charismatic megafauna. Um, <laughs> and, and so far, I, I've gained 45 pounds, but <laughs> I also know from experience what happens if you just shove data at people, and it's that they tell you to leave. <laughs> Uh, uh, Owen talked about the chicken bucket for the placenta. Uh, it's called that because you eat chicken out of it while you're just watching the birth and just waiting. <laughs> uh, he also talked about how the ancient Egyptians thought that uh, the placenta was your twin, and that explains why my mom always said to me that the placenta was the cute one. <laughs> Uh, uh, Taylor, uh, one of the euphemisms for pooping she used was igniting a rectal rocket, and that's, that actually just means lighting your own farts, that's not... <laughs> uh, uh, Steve Nash talked about Leonardo da Vinci and about how he, uh, uh, he slept around a lot. And I think that's actually because he was curious, right? He was sleeping around a lot so that he could get good statistics on his analysis. <laughs> uh, for Francis talked about beer. Uh, so pretentiousness, she mentioned it as an ingredient in craft beer. It's actually also an important ingredient in poop smoothies. Uh, <laughs> She also talked about uh, diacetyl and said that it, uh, you know, causes beer to be, uh, taste like you're just putting your mouth below the butter thing at the movie theater. And um, I would like to try some of this beer. Uh, <laughs> kind of tired of getting those looks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, Greg talked about the, uh, the, the, the dildos with the security vulnerability. And uh, I, I, would, like, I looked it up online and it was the, the WeVibe 4 Plus. Um, I wouldn't, they're not like really like dildos technically, I don't think. They're like, like vagina paper clips, sort of. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? For like, for like women who get off by like attaching documents. <laughs> And, uh, and, and lastly, Katie uh, was talking about, she said Venom and Poison are like uh, Marvel and DC, but they're actually like Marvel and an 80s hair metal. <laughs> okay. Dan um, <laughs> Wesson, everybody! Keeping us legitimate. Keeping us legitimate. You guys, thank you for being here tonight. This is, uh, this is Science Riot. This is something that you should do. Please come and talk to us out in front. Get information on the program. Come and join us on the stage. Big thank you to Jesse Hansen, the instructor, all of the, all of the comedians tonight, Emily Skosin, Owen Vaughn, Taylor Soderberg, Dan Wufflin, hey! You know him, you love him. Dr. Steve Nash, great Cusack, Katie Barber. Ah, uh, and I have been your MC this evening, Fanny Spankings. Thank you. Thank you to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Rudy, Joe, Denver, yay for science. Go have a cocktail. We'll see you next time. Well, as the 
MC. I get to uh, be the go-between between the comedians and the audience and perhaps uh, help audience understand a little bit about what the comedians are talking about. They're so knowledgeable about their topics that, uh, you know, sometimes the the comedy comes at you so fast, perhaps you miss something. So for tonight, I hope that the audience and I can uh, go on a journey together watching these budding comics just wow and blow our minds. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Well, uh, the fantastic instructor, Miss Jesse Hansen, is a, a dear friend of mine. We've performed burlesque together in the past. Now, I don't know if the science world knows that about her or not, but I mean, if you've got brains and you got beauty, you got to show them off, you know what I mean? So, uh, I, I, I came to it through a, a, a nerd, a, a gorgeous nerd, so it was wonderful. <laughs> So something like Science Riot is so important, um, not only for the audience who gets to appreciate uh, really intelligent people maybe showing sides of themselves that they aren't um, used to seeing, such as comedy and uh, uh, willingness to poke fun at themselves and at, at, at big brains and things that perhaps were taken more seriously back in the old days, but also for these comics to have an opportunity to not be put in a box as a scientist, as an architect, as a, you know, uh, somebody who is limited by their title that they can also be funny and that they can also share themselves with their audience and their loved ones. <laughs> Let's see, well, I'm Fanny Spanking, so I'm Colorado's sweetest peach. I'm a burlesque performer, producer, MC, teacher, um, but I also recently got certified in pharmacy, uh, as a pharmacy technician. And so I'm gonna pursue uh, my education along those lines and perhaps be a pharmacist one day. So I've got the nightlife and the drugs and they go so well hand in hand. So 